Hello everyone, my name is Jokes, as you all know. Um, welcome to this very special <laughs> episode on my channel. This is... Oh, oof, I forgot. Uh, I, I, I forgot uh, to get my stream code on a separate channel. And now I need to do it on this one, because I want to make uh, session one, and I want it to be live. So I'm gonna turn my desktop audio on. Everyone, you can be heard. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Don't use it fucking. <laughs> hi. Good day. Are you gonna use that voice for Maggie the entire time? No, I promise. No, no I promise. that like actually. Jaji, I swear to God, if you do that, I'm like. On this, uh, I'm bust out the chipmunk voice. Very mad. Okay, so we have. Hold on, I, I have something set up for this. So, <clears throat> should I watch the stream or the owl bear? Let, wait, 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 wait. Let, let's go from top to bottom. What is this audio balancing? I don't know. So, at the top, you see Maggie Daldalera, also known as the player named Jaji. Does that actually always sound goddamn? Uh, <laughs> Maggie is. Now, I'm. I'm Wait, why is my why is my voice so loud? For, for why is my voice so loud? Yeah, for context, turn, real quick. Um, you need to turn darky this down. Like a lot. this is an anime campaign that takes place in the same world as Epithet Erased. Uh, so Maggie here is a comes from. Wait, wait, Maggie. Why don't you tell them your backstory? Oh Christ, have mercy. Okay. Just a summary. Um, don't don't give don't get into the entire detail. It'd be funny though. Um, hold no, on. I want, let me go I want, find I it. I want the other players to also just find things out during the session instead of just hear it all right now. I know. Oh, hold on. Let me find. Let me find stuff. Uh, I'm totally prepared. Yeah. Same. Look, yo, where did I put my back? She. <laughs> okay, so basically, Maggie, uh, board Magdaldelin, um, is the heiress to the Daldalera Company, which is centered in seaside country, or island country, I think it's called now. Um, I, I, I still call it parents, seaside. Yeah, I, I, I'll call it seaside, I guess. Um, both her parents are from seaside country. Um, her mom's a girl boss, uh, literally and metaphorically. Um, her dad Bye. is submissive and breedable. Pinky. If you use that term again, I'm hey, leaving. Hey, Chachi, can I fuck your dad? Uh. This, maybe? this, stream, this is off to a great this start. Stream also, like, has you been still need to turn Darky for down. For ten minutes, Darky. You really, you really need to turn Darky down, like, a lot on the stream. Yeah, yeah, I'm so loud, that's what I'm Hold That's on, I, 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 I know the perfect amount to turn him down. He sounds cataclysmically loud. <laughs> Darky, say something? Perfect. He's just gonna... He's just gonna mute you, isn't he? I turned him yeah. to 5%. Good job. Perfect. There we go. Or maybe I can, I just don't recognize myself. Okay, is, okay I did it. Um... Jaji is posting art right now. Is that your dad? Yeah, yeah that's my Wait, dad. I th now I think I'm too loud. That's Let me her check. dad. You are my dad. You're my dad. I was thinking <laughs> of the exact same <laughs> thing right now. All no, right, no, I'm perfectly just, well. Uh, okay, let's... I save that. Where the let's fuck? Ah, oh, jeez, BRB. Goddamn. Alright, so uh, we got through her backstory. Um, I forgot where no, I got my backstory. Away. Now let's move on to the next person. That's the which fucking word. Happens to be Axel. Uh, also, Axel Myro, also known as Darky, the player. Why don't you tell us about who Axel is and why he's here? What's up, guys? Axel is a 13 year old child who is very immature. However, he's quite the optimist, you know, and a child prodigy. And he's here because he needs to get his fucking epithet in check. 
which I shall now reveal for plot purposes. No, he's also reveal. like that, he's also really hyperactive, and he's definitely got a bubbly personality. Uh, he was born in Australia to ethnic, ethically seaside parents, and you know, he was a child prodigy, pretty lonely as a child, and now he's here because he wants to be like super strong so he can show off at school and shit. Oh yeah, that's Perfect. like the I easiest way to explain him. All right, then lastly, our third player. Well, you Jer see, Jeremiah Lek Lexode or Lexo Lexo. Uh, Lexo, Lexo, also known as a player named Dio. Why don't you go ahead Hello. and explain your character? <clears throat> Hello, I am the player currently known as Dio. You see, I was born at a very young age. My dad was a defense attorney and my mother was a judge. That's not to do the voice. I just wanted to do a Brooklyn accent. But, um, uh, yeah, his dad was a defense attorney, his mother was a judge, so he grew up in a very litigious uh, household. Uh, and now he wants to just, like, he wants to see basically how much he can screw with people. Just, like, what he can talk himself into and out of with, like, you know, the revelation that he has powers. Nice. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's get you off the screen. <laughs> All right. Uh, guys, darn it. I'm having trouble with your little... I'm scrolling through Reddit. Why are you scrolling through Reddit in the middle of my game? <laughs> In the middle of your game, we have we barely yeah, in started. In the middle of my game, how dare you! I can't believe you scroll through Reddit in the middle of my game. Damn, that's a little weird. Yeah, exactly. Why? Why would you do that? Reddit is for weirds. Wait, if I send like a picture in VC chat, will it show? Uh, I don't think so. I yeah, no, hope not. it didn't. It didn't. Good. Just in case I ever feel the need to send some very, very goofy shit. All right. Uh, I believe we are waiting for Jaji's return, so let us wait. I'll play us some music. Um, now I do need to check which one is connected. Alright, let me know if you guys can hear this. If you do not hear it, then uh, I have the wrong tab. What are we supposed to hear? Yeah, I'm still getting the music, don't worry. I can start a countdown timer. Five, four. <laughs> Five, yes. four, let, let, let's three, get all of the two, to, uh... one. Happy New Year. All there, right. I have perfect. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Can you guys hear the music? 6, 17. Yes, we can. No. Wait, yes. All right, this is perfect waiting music. I'm really excited to get into this. By the way, this is gonna be a very short session because I don't have all the time. Fair. Uh, because we started really late. <laughs> all right, let, let's go over where everyone is. Uh, Jeremiah, you're here under this tree. I know it looks like you're oh, on top of the tree, but actually you're under it. I am aware. Axel, uh, you are over here, standing in the middle of a crowd. It seems like people are avoiding you, which I completely understand. Wow, uh, no, it's because of the social distancing. <laughs> Respectful. Well, not, not to mention, why are you unsupervised? <laughs> Uh, Why well, are you here my, my parents, like, 
I just asked my parents if I could go, and they said sure, just be home by dinner, and I don't think they understood like how far away this place was, so I basically ran away from home. Like, per with permission. And Maggie over here is with her dad. I mean, why wouldn't you want to be with your dad? Because it's just a little, little, tiny, sort of a little cringe to get chaperoned here. I'm comparing facial features. She definitely has his eye color and his lips. Indeed. I see. Eyes. <laughs> People have those. <laughs> yeah, eyes. Isn't that right, Jeremiah? Yeah. Let's go with that. Wait, I, I, uh, I, I, I totally forgot that, um, I didn't loop it. We're gonna ignore what that was. My Friday night funkin' music on my copyright free music playlist. Damn, kinda, kinda funky? Yeah, I know, right? Uh. Man. Kinda weird, huh? Oh, yeah, I, I just, just got this voice mod on. Huh? Can we? Yeah, you can. Technically, you can see my notes. I mean, like this, it's hard to tell what I what it's saying. But I mean, like if I zoomed in on it to read it myself, you would be able to see it. So, okay. Well, I think I'm the just notes are perfect. Maybe we I'm should use another app. Voice mod until Jaji gets back, I guess. Oh, Jaji's not back. Damn. No. Hey, jokes. Can I please move my character? It would be greatly appreciated. Dude, like. Voice mod is fun, if you know how to use it. Are you it. sure Jaji isn't back? She just typed in chat. What did she go to do anyways? Her puppies are being menaces. Oh. She's gotta go do chores and find her knife. Let's go. I don't know. The knife that she's going to stab me to death with. God, I can't wait for dinner. Imagine eating. Couldn't be me. What is ghost? What do what ghost to do? It just makes you sound like that one alien from Ben He's 10. Imagine paying for voice mod. My poor I ass mean, could never. Like, worth it though. I, like for, for what I do. Like for, for voice mod. He sounds right, like the uh, average modern uh, rapper now. Uh, it says I DM a lot, right? It just comes in handy. Yeah, makes sense. You, you DM? Yeah. <laughs> I've never played in a game uh, of yours. Yeah, you and like, I've only played in one other game of yours. <laughs> you should, like, invite me. Damn, time. that's, uh... An interesting prospect, but I literally do not think you would be able to show up. <laughs> oh yeah, because, you know... Time zones. Well, okay, so to put this in perspective, right? Uh, let me let me actually see what time zone you in. DMT plus two. Okay. I have a time zone. Yeah, hold on. How are we GMT plus two? Or aren't we GMT plus one? Because like GMT is London, and London so, is like, actually one hour away. Maybe. Okay. So so here's the thing. Yeah, here's but the thing. GMT is. I... London is GMT plus one right now because of daylight saving. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me let me let me tell you though, jokes. Uh, seven. Like I normally run my games around like seven for me. Uh, so that would be like eleven a.m. for you. I've done that before, and I'm never gonna do it again. I remember yeah. playing Not that in this. Bad, but um, I don't wake up at that time. I remember playing in a game. The the DM was really cool. He had his like entire this entire system behind it. Um, he had a shit ton of, like, like he had an, his own system for it, 
which was really cool. And it was like JoJo, but he used D&D mechanics, but not all of the D&D mechanics. So he like pick and chose a couple. And then he had this JoJo game, right? It was really cool. I was playing a, um, I believe a rogue. It was basically this thief, uh, but the important part is, for me this game started at midnight and it was seven hours long. Damn. Seven so I, I would be up from Monday, a day I had, had school, and I would be up from, uh, yeah, I would be up from midnight to seven on Saturday. I mean, on no, I started on Friday and it would end Saturday. Yeah, Why so like, I don't think I could actually invite you to any games that I would play unless it's like summer. Hold on, I think my my ear pods died. Now you guys can hear it through my fucking speaker. An Overwatch. Yeah, I think my ear pods died. <laughs> guys, I can't hear you. He sounds like Venom from the movie Venom. Okay, they're back. They're uh, I, I I fixed it. I had to plug nice. them in their case and back out again. Um. So yeah, the game was between midnight and seven. <laughs> Well, that definitely sounds, uh, difficult. It was pretty difficult. I would be tired at the end of it. Um... I did have- I do have some fond memories of it, but the DM had some... issues, and the game got... <laughs> what did you do? Darky, what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> Anywho... Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm back. What's what is going back? on? Uh, yeah, we're waiting for you. Okay, are you ready to... Um, oh, can you hear the music, by the way, Chachi? Yes, yeah, I can. I can hear. Because that's how I'm going to be streaming. Mu uh, I'm going to be musicking. It's easier because okay, I can switch it on a spot. Anyway. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. No, of course I'm ready. <laughs> You're all gathered in this city. You're all gathered in the city. Uh, Citrus Oasis. Who's using the pointer? Not me. Okay, everyone pick a color. Mine is gonna be yellow. Mine's red. Well, can I change it? Color? Oh, we yeah, we get the color. I'm purple, I'm purple. <gasps> Fuck all of you. Hold on, is there like... I guess I'll be green. Oh, what? No! That changes the color of my freaking token! God damn you! It's um, the pointer. It's like head, under the rule. Do you see, like, the uh, measuring tool? I see. Oh! <gasps> I don't know if I should go for this purple or this purple. I like this purple more. Okay. <laughs> I choose to be blue. Want a pointer fight? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Eat my pointer uh, ass. Oh, oh, no, you ain't getting okay. me. You ain't getting me. Okay, that everyone sounds a calm, little suspicious. Everyone, everyone calm down. Everyone calm your pointers. <laughs> that, that sounds real suspicious. I don't want to see... Okay. My pointer is definitely above average. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just here to not die, probably. Hopefully. So... Ever you were so all gathered weird. in Citrus Oasis, a city, a very, a, quite a small city, in the desert country. You, the reason you've gathered here is because a man who calls, calls himself Morin Bishops has invited you all here through a, an online forum who has, who had a, uh, who had posted for any Epithet user who saw it, they come to this uh, city specifically to learn more about your epithets. Oh, you're playing Slytherin. You see Hill. these? Huh? Never mind. You see these 
there's these fences gathered around where the spectators were allowed to stand. There's a variety of soldiers, some equipped with a sort of firearm, while others with n nothing but gloves. All around this area, you're at the city, at the um, you're at the town square, and standing on stage right now is a man wearing blue robes with red lining. He has grayish blonde hair, which you can just barely see beneath a mask he is wearing. He's wearing a mask with on it a clover, but as in the same symbol you'd see on a card. I believe, I believe in English it's clubs. Um, yes. He has tanned skin, which you can barely see from his ears and as well as his hands, with which he has is currently held up to his chest, his hands palmed in, into each other, as he is looking around at all the people that are gathered here. There's many people here. Dozens or even over a hundred people. A lot more than the squares that you see here. This is just an interpretation of that. Standing beneath the palm tree is Jeremiah, who is hiding his face beneath his hat. In the middle of the crowd is the annoying Axel, who is being avoided by the people. And then Maggie, the matriarch to be, is standing there with her father behind, within a crowd of people. The man on stage raises his hands to his side as he prepares to speak. There is chattering the crowd which quiets down as everyone sees the man clear his throat. <clears throat> he looks around and you see him turn to one of his soldiers who immediately as they see their sight uh, Im immediately when they see their sight being crossed by Morin goes up to the stage The soldier is just a regular person, tan skin, grayish hair, a bit like most uh, desert people. They appear to use, they wave their hand in around a uh, spiral, and you see like a little bit of a symbol similar to a megaphone, which interacts with uh, Moran's voice or with his body, as his voice begins to boom, and he speaks to the crowd in front of him. Hello, all of you. I am Morin Bischofs, as a name you all have acquainted yourselves with. You may refer to me as the Bishop, as that is the a alias I go by. You are all here, as you've heard that I can help you attain better control of your epithets. And that is, and that what I say is true. I work with an organization that can help you teach and help you learn how to better use your epithet. In return, all that we ask for is for you to stay here with us in the desert country. He pa pauses. He looks over the crowd, raising his arms to his side further. And pledge allegiance. Pledge your loyalty to our cause. People are that reacting. That doesn't sound to the suspicious crowd. at all. People are reacting in the crowd. They're turning to each other. They're they're muttering to themselves. They very. They do seem suspicious. Is there anything you would like to do in this meantime? As he is having a prolonged pause at the moment. Axel's just oh. muttering to himself, like, uh, "Shit, I thought this was going to be a one-day thing. What am I supposed to tell my parents?" Oh. Uh, Maggie's gonna like 
have her hand shoot up in the air and she's gonna ask very loudly, Um, Mr. Moran Bishop, uh, sir? Is this, like, a legally binding contract? I really hope not. And if it is, is it, like, supposed to be verbally or is it supposed to be just, like, on paper? Uh, Axel's he looks just like you and says, You may ask questions after I have finished. However, I will shortly answer. There are no contracts to be signed. And after that... Um, that also goes for verbally binding, but okay. He allows you to speak for a moment, and then he continues. We have a hold of a powerful artifact known as the Gem of Sigils. I cannot go into detail on how we got it and where it is, but know this. With the Gem of Sigils, we can create jewels that harness small bits of the gem's power. These jewels can make miracles come true, and if you join, you will not only learn how to use your epithet more efficiently, you yourself can gain one of these jewels after working up our ranks. While I this cannot like give any more scheme. information, we're happy to accept any of you, so please do not be afraid to come with us. Are there any questions besides what the young lady has asked earlier? Some of the people begin asking questions. Do we get to stay with our family? Where is your organization currently? There's many questions shooting at him. Do any of you say anything? Aside from nah, the I'm question good. Nagi had, I don't have anything. Alright. I'm just like, cool. I like jewels. Hmm. There, after some people have been asking questions, a man pushes himself through the crowd, appearing a lot angrier than the others. He yells at... He, he yells. He screams at... at the bishop. This seems like some kind of cult you're talking about. What ge What miracles? What gem? He... There's soldiers that are moving over the fence that he is attempting to knock down. The men are... Tr the pe men are trying to subdue this man. However, he, he seems not very pleased, as he be, seem, he himself is an epithet user. And after trying to be subdued, the bishop is talking to him. He's trying to call him the man. And then suddenly, from his mouth, there fires a ray of fire. Shooting through the air, it barely misses the bishop. They, the men have successfully grabbed his arm, and the bishop walks up to this man, stepping off the stage. You see, as this man is trying to, is struggling, trying to free himself, the bishop now puts his hand on the man's forehead. The man shoots out one more pillar of fire into the air, but that is cut short as the chilt suddenly disappears. And the man now looks at his himself. He doesn't he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. Hear the man muttering questions to himself. He seems to have not only forgotten his epithet, but everything. Do any of you do or say anything? Wow. 
What the fuck? You see a man stepping out Real from perfect. behind the stage. That was that legal? This man is a shorter individual. He the bishop turns to him after having called out for him. This man is blue haired. He has a lot paler skin for a desert person, so he seems to be from a different region. And the bishop asks him, Expert, which appears to be his alias, could you tell me what this man's epithet was? The expert, being a shorter boy, begins thinking to himself, before simply saying, From what I could gather, he appears to be some sort of user of a fire-breathing epithet. Perhaps it's fire-breath, or perhaps dragon. That is all I could gather, sir. The bishop th thanks him. However, with the man being... With the man forgetting everything, there is a bit of havoc going loose. People are trying to run in all directions. They don't appear to be very... They don't appear to be very... happy to have witnessed such a horrible thing in the epithet world. Someone has just completely forgotten their epithet. This is something only known to be done by some of the capital city cuffs which were, are made to make people forget their epithet. But this man has not just forgotten his epithet, he has forgotten everything. And people are not very... they don't feel safe, let's just say it like that. And with that, all hell begins to break loose. As people are scared, they're running away from this bishop individual. Not everyone, however, a good majority of people are moving themselves, trying to go towards the exit, which is being blocked by two soldiers. Do you do anything? No, I'm just gonna continue to stand under the tree. All right. I'm actually gonna go, like, slightly scared. I'm just gonna go hide behind that tree with Jeremiah. So if go you can ahead. just move, like, my... You can move yourself. I can. Remember, he took away my moving perms. I did? Yeah, I can move everyone else, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I did that. Oh, there we go. So I'm just gonna... Like, I don't even notice Axel, I'm just like hiding behind this tree next to him. Yeah. The bishop appears to be climbing back onto, sta onto the stage as he looks towards the people, looking towards the, ex the exit of the fences, which are now being knocked down as more and more soldiers are making their way over there. Do you all stand, stay where you are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well... Time passes, and more and more people are... being subdued. More and more soldiers are also appearing as it appeared they had way more men than the ones here. There's... There's one soldier that is standing with the bishop. As well as two standing by the podium. As the expert leaves, currently about... Let's say... 
a good a good few have been entirely a good few of the people have been subdued and brought away while only a couple are still remaining here the area seems to be let's just say seized as there are maybe two dozen soldiers we can take on two dozen soldiers right guys those who are still Easily. here probably not those who are still here appear to be genuinely interested in the offer that was given to them However, that is not a lot of people. Let's say about a little over a dozen Epithet users who seem to be interested in joining this group organization thing. It seems that after usage of his epithet, the bishop is kind of trying to recover. He himself is trying to recover from his own usage. As it appears that his epithet might be a bit draining to himself. Well, he, he once again speaks up. <clears throat> Now, the epithet that was used on him earlier, after a couple minutes, has been used up, meaning that he his voice is to norm is now normal, however he's kind of shouting. Alright, those of you who are still interested in joining us, please meet us at the He seems to be thinking to himself. We cannot have you here in public. We cannot take you with us here in public, as that might arouse suspicions from the suspicion from those who are not involved. So meet us here at 1 a.m. After all of this, these fences have been taken down, and we will take you into our organization and allow you to join. Heart. A cult. Well, it's actually a cult. And with that, you see as the bishop, along with the sol soldiers at the stage, and a man who was standing by the fence, all, through, all five of them begin to make their way behind the stage and presumably leave. However, there are still quite a number of soldiers here. So if you had any plans of leaving, escape might be the only option. Or you could stick with the crowd. What do you choose to do? Maggie's thing's gonna be a fun new adventure. I'll, uh, I'll stick with the crowd. Uh, oh. You're gonna. So everyone's gonna stick here? Yeah. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just like gonna look around. I'm like, the big, big scary man's gone. I'm just gonna look like to my right and just see Jeremiah. Who's just been like right next to me this entire time, and I haven't realized. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? When did you get here, sir? I've been standing under this tree the entire time. Oh, I did not notice you. Hmm. Well, that was I mean, pretty crazy. It's not like you would pick me out of a crowd, anyways. Well, that was pretty crazy, huh? 
The Zapatha just fucking got destroyed. Say, you look kind of young. Where are your parents at? Uh, Australia. Hmm. I'm just... You know what? I don't want to be responsible for a child today. Bye. Wait. No. Get back here. Why? Well... I'm a bit scared. Is it just because we both have hats? Yeah, it's because we both have hats. I was lying. <laughs> I like your hat, funny man. <laughs> well, I like your hat too, but that doesn't mean that I gotta take care of you now. All the guards have hats too. Oh, maybe I should go talk to them then. Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs> and then I just like go to the other side of the tree and just start walking around looking for a guard, not noticing that they're all outside. <laughs> yeah, they're all kind of just... Indeed, these guards all have these... Uh, mil seemingly like camo uniforms. However, instead of like the oh. military gear that you'd expect from actual military, they have caps and shades and, and uh, scarves instead of actual headgear. Mostly just to hide their, you know... Thanks. All right, pretty cool. Um, okay. So, is there anything else you guys would like to do? I mean, you could leave the area. Like, like, without anyone complaining? Like, we just get the fuck out of it, here? It's currently, like, afternoon, right? That's a long time to wait. That and remember what wait. he said? At what time? One a.m. You're gonna stick around here until one a.m. I mean, I think we all need like a, something to eat, somewhere to piss, you know? Yeah, maybe it's a good idea to leave. I got snacks. Oh, now, I've got a bush I can pee in, so I'm just gonna like sleep on the tree. You, oh. Maggie, your dad just like turns to you, it's like. My dear daughter, I see a child over there who seems to be unsupervised. I think we should go up to him. What do you think? We probably should. I hope he likes crabs, because nobody here has been talking to me about crabs. I've been trying to talk to them about crabs, but nobody wants to talk about crabs. Why wouldn't anybody want to talk about crabs? Let's go. Oh boy, are we going to get along. Hi, Hi mess. What's up? As Hi! I so, uh, I was just wondering if you knew anything about crabs, and if you did it, did you want to talk about them anyway? Hell yeah, I want to talk about crabs. I love crabs. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Crabs are so cute. They are so cute, and they're just funny little guys. Yeah, what's your favorite type of crab? Just mm. here for like, two minutes to grab lunch. Don't worry, we're, we're gonna oh. be here for a while. Talking about We're crabs. gonna be here a little while. Well, that's kind of hard to say because there are a lot of crabs that aren't actually crabs. Did you know that, by the way? Oh, like what type of what type of crabs? Um, well, one crab that isn't actually a crab, I think, is a porcelain crab. They closely resemble crabs, but they're actually more related to lobsters and hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are also not actually crabs. Oh? Yeah, this is because of a whole thing called carcinization, and um, by definition, by book definition, a carcinization is an example of convergent evolution in which a crustacean evolves into a crab-like form from a non-crab-like form. Um, first, the term was introduced um, into evolutionary biology, um, and it was described as one of the many attempts of nature to evolve crab. And they do joke around in the biology community that the crab is the most superior form because this has been happening for millions and millions of years without it stopping. It doesn't seem to be stopping now anyway. Oh, I did really you know a group of crabs stop. is called a cast? A cast? Okay, that I actually didn't know. Hold on, give me a second. Um, and you see Maggie like take out this huge ass binder. Just like a crab binder? 
No, it's just a huge binder. Her dad just hands her a pen. I, I, yeah. And you just see Axel like all excited, just like fidgeting his hands like, Oh, and did you know crabs are like one of the oldest animals because they showed up during the Jurassic period? And that's like 200 million years ago. Okay, that I did know. I need to write down that cast thing. Come here, come here, come here, look, 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 look. look. And she mm -hmm. kind of squats down um, and opens the big binder across her lap. And she starts flipping around to pages. Um, oh no, my neck isn't working. Oh wait, no. I'm just like all excited looking at all the pages, like looking up craft facts, like, oh my God, this is the best day ever. Yeah, like literally nobody here wants to talk about crabs and I don't know why. I mean, I'm giving them like- Like crabs are so cool. I know, and I'm giving them these facts and this information for free. Exactly, like I would pay for this crab, <laughs> these crab facts. All right, so oh, I know crab. that you're all having fun with your crab facts, but but maybe we should get the story moving. We're gonna move on. So okay, so you guys wait, do need can I ask to like get... actually important it questions. Is... Yeah. Like, can I ask them like actually important questions? Like, what's Maggie's name so we get to know each other a bit? Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, and uh, what's your name, Miss? Oh, my full name is Magdalene de Jomar Dadalera, but my dad usually calls me Maggie. Oh, that's so cool, Maggie. My name's Axel. You look like an Axel. Oh, do I? Well, it's because of the hat, like an and then I just, then I just like tip my hat a bit. Actually, yeah, now that you talk, now that you mention it, you kind of look like an actual Axel, but... I was just saying that the name Axel fits you, but yeah. Oh, cool. And I'm 13 years old. You're, like, you're 13. Yep. Oh my god, you're like a little baby. Hey, um, I'm technically a teen. I mean, yeah, teen is in the number. So I guess. But you're still a little baby. And you're so small. Wait, how big is Maggie? She's 5'11. No. Six foot flat with shoes. And Maggie's like 5'5, five five, so she's just looking like straight up, like, oh my god. After a couple minutes, uh, it seems like guards mm -hmm. are entering the fence area. Mm hmm. Uh, this. I would like to approach one of the guards. I just noticed a guard, like, right yeah. behind me, like, oh crap, yeah, Maggie, who's that? First, <laughs> a, a guard, like, stand. He's like this slightly, like, um, heavier. Guard, he's like, he, he, he's, he seems to have eaten a little bit too much. Um, he's like this tanned guy with like black hair, which he has like a little bit of an afro with his head like on top of it. Uh, the rest of his features you can't tell because of the clothing he's wearing. He like, hey. he, um, he's like standing behind Axel all. Intimida intimidating Lee and uh, the moment Axel turns around he he just like waves down to the little boy oh and, and I'm like hey. hey friend do you want to talk about crafts with me and Maggie <laughs> uh, no uh, I, I I came here to tell you that my boss has just told us that uh, you guys need to leave because they gotta get rid of these fences so that they can get the park back, uh, so they can get the town square back in its regular shape by the time it's evening. So if you don't oh, mind, this wasn't... I'd like you to leave. I thought this was the regular shape though, but okay. Um, is there like anywhere to stay, to eat, or to pee? I kind of need to pee, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm hungry. I heard that there's a cafe, uh, Somewhere in town. You could go and look for that. A oh, cute little local cafe, that'd be so nice. Meanwhile, uh, Je Jeremiah, you approach this female guard who has, who looks to be a bit older. She has gray hair, tan skin. She looks like a, more like a local, but she's older. She was talking to someone else who promptly begins to leave the moment you approach. What do you say? So, <clears throat> I can assume that uh, they just allow us to hang around forever. Uh, do you know where any, I don't know, local establishments are? Somewhere to grab a bite till it's, what, one again? 
Yes, you can find... I believe there's a cafe. You just need to go... To over there, she points out some street. Just go through that street and... You should see the cafe two streets beyond it. Alright, well, thank you kindly. Enjoy your... Enjoy your day. Well, you two. Have a nice day. Alright, so uh, everyone's heading towards the uh, cafe? Looks like it. Alright. Slay. Slay. I'm, I'm just following Maggie because I'm like... I'm a 13-year-old child with no parents. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm... Alright. You all... End up over at the cafe. Uh, I can assume you go by foot. Mhm. Mm yes. Nah, I just fucking fly there. You're not got a helicopter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, totally. Uh, you know, I actually my expect that. Pretty from comfortable, so I think yeah, I'll walk. Yeah. Um. You very um, let's say coincidentally, uh, Axel. And Maggie arrive around the same time Jeremiah does. Don't really know what to expect. Uh, as you see this actually quite big cafe. You're in the uh, part. You're at the parking spot right now. The door is over here, by the way, just so you notice. you want, go ahead and enter. Or maybe interact with each other some more. I, uh... I'm just gonna start bolting in. I'm just running to the cafe, like, really hungry. I want, like, a croissant okay. or something. Where's the, croissant, where's the cake? If you will. Is this the... Is this the entrance? <laughs> no, I, I, I just so. told you. Hold on. <laughs> I pointed it out. It's over here. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, yeah. A sleigh. <laughs> Please unfuse yourself oh, from my fuck. leg. Okay, hold on. I'm let me, sorry. Let me, hold <laughs> I on. Think let I'm me like... um. Let me set things up. I need to remove the uh the fog. Where did I go? Do I have all the? I uh... think you're inside somewhere. Yeah, your tokens aren't moving for me. Oh, there we go. Finally. I'm in. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, well, my, my token is just gone. GG. Yoink. 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 Right. Yoink. <laughs> you guys can't no see fair. Maggie's got coming? two tokens. Oh, 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 shit. Uh, I'm yeah. just looking off the stream yeah. map. My my earbuds keep disconnecting, so yeah. Sorry about that. Where um, did my token... Okay, can't move my token anymore because it's under the fog. Fog is like still literally in. right under. Yeah, the thing. Yeah, the thing is, I uh, had fog set up to keep suspense high. Uh, so hold on. Can't move anymore. Yeah, I'm kind of. I don't I'm have any stuck tokens here. set up, so I'm just kind of setting up some tokens. I'll, I'll, I'm very. Uh... Okay. Also, I'm I'm just gonna assume you guys aren't cheating by looking at the stream. I just told you I was looking at the stream map. How dare you? Uh, anyways, I don't. I'm not, I have the stream open, but I'm not. Quite a large um, area. Like it's a very big cafe. <gasps> oh shit! Oops. You just there's a man by the entrance. There's some a couple in the corner. There's some guys at a table. It doesn't look too crowded at the moment. There's two pretty rich-looking folks at the are talking with the um, barkeep. So go ahead, find a seat. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna follow Maggie around to see where she wants to go. Yeah. Uh, S let's see. Same with dad. Okay, let's... <laughs> Alright, Slay. Uh, oh, shit, I made her smaller. <laughs> small. She's not small, I promise. Um... Hold on, that reminds me. Hold on, Axel Stencil. 
Are you gonna make him? Oh, he's so tiny now. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna hold him so <laughs> gently. But I also kind of want to squish him like a little boiled grape. I'm turning him back to normal. Boiled grape? Nah, nah, turn me smaller. I feel like it'd be more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, Jesus whoa, whoa. Christ. Not too small, you're not an ant. That's funny. Um, Maggie's gonna girl boss over uh, to here. You're gonna girl boss over? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna girl boss over. I'm gonna child <laughs> boss over, you know, just sit sit here, like, so I can see Maggie. Yeah. That's so cute. It's like, it's like a baby bird imprinting on a random person. There's just a little, like, candle in the middle of the table. A scented candle. A candle. That smells quite nice. Um, as you all begin waiting for your orders. And eventually, after a couple minutes, the barkeep, uh, comes up from behind. Oh shit, I removed them by accident. <laughs> Now he's here. He does not come up at all. <laughs> he stands at the end of your table. Was, and why is one eye kind of just? Oh, okay, now I see it. I thought one eye was just clipping through his skin. <laughs> <laughs> he kindly looks to all of you and says, "Hello there. Welcome to my establishment. Tell me what kind what's of up? drink? What kind of drink would you like? Uh, what's the sweetest thing you have?" The sweetest thing I have would be, hmm, I think it would be sugared. Tell me, what would you prefer? Would you prefer sugared uh, orange juice or sugared cherry juice? Cherries, cherries, I love cherries. All right, what about the lady? Um, so like, what kind of drinks do you have here? We have all kinds of drinks. We have sodas, we have Fruit, we have we have wine, we have beer, we have whiskey, we have water, we have coffee, we have everything you would need. Uh, <laughs> uh Maggie just goes, uh, do you guys serve that like pink drink? Because I've been missing it this whole time. Being from Seaside for so long, uh, I miss it already. Ah, uh, uh Tell me which yeah, pink, pink drink. drink. Which pink drink are you referring to? You could be talking yeah. about a strawberry smoothie, or perhaps a strawberry milkshake. Or maybe you're talking about the pink pink variant of boba tea. Oh shit! They got boba. I chose wrong. I just like muttered this to myself, like he can't hear me, <laughs> because I don't want to okay. like. <laughs> uh, you know, I guess are I you get talking... that strawberry boba. Or are you talking about a pink cocktail? Uh, I think I'll just get the strawberry boba. Alright. What about... What about the man over there? Her I'll just, just get him the same thing. He nods. Alright. <laughs> then walks up to the, another table. Hello there, sir. What would you like? Drink or the full thing? Uh, let's start with the drinks. And you got any sarsaparilla? Hmm, we are low on that. Are you sure you want that? Uh, nah, I'll just have some coffee. Sounds good. Is there anything extra you want with your coffee? Sugar, milk, extra? Uh. Yeah, if I could add two cubes, uh, two sugar cubes, uh, I don't know, like fifteen percent milk. All right. Is there any type of milk you would like? It? Uh, I mean, any type of sugar nah. or milk that you would like in particular? I'm not too picky. Right. Is there a specific type of treat you would like with it? We usually just give out um, the English word. I forgot myself. Uh, hold on, let me. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I'm. We usually just give. We usually just give some biscuits. But is there anything in particular you would prefer? No, biscuit sounds nice. Right. 
I'll be back with your drink soon. Thanks. And he returns. And after a couple minutes, he first r returns to you guys' table. He puts down the strawberry boba tea, two of them, and the, um, what was it? Ah, yes. Sugared cherry juice. And then he brings the coffee to Owl. Wait, no. Jeremiah. You guys don't have the names here, so I can't remember. He then asks Jeremiah first, And is there any type of food you would like? You seemed like... You seemed pretty hungry. Well... Let's see... What kind of entrees you got? Anything like, uh, something like biscuits and gravy? Mm, that seems a bit too basic for me. I have all kinds hmm. of food, but we have very unique ways of utilizing it. Right, you yeah. got any meat pies? Depends, what kind of meat pie would you prefer? About, I guess, chicken? Alright. Seasoned or unseasoned? Seasoned. Unseasoned chicken? Oh my god. The monster. Would you, would you, like, <laughs> would you like it? Would you like it extra stuffed? And cheese? Okay. Different variety of sauces? Even all of the above? A lot of options for just one meat pie, but I guess I'll take extra gravy and uh, oh, I guess toss in a couple vegetables as well. It's good. I'll be back with your order fairly soon. Then returns to the table that belonged to Maggie Axel, Maggie's father. Sorry for the wait. Is there any food you would like? Uh, Maggie was just in the middle of, like, explaining the origins of boba tea. But she's like, oh! Ah, I almost forgot about food. Um, again, what do you, like, have here? Uh, we have pretty much everything. We have a variety. We have pastas. We have different types of sweets. We have a lot of options. Just tell me something and I'll tell you if we have it. You have a croissant? Kind of we have a variety of croissants. We have buttered croissants. We have seasoned croissants. We have sugared croissants. We have. Mm, I want a buttered have, croissant. We have buttered. All right. Mm -hmm. What about you two? Thank you. What? Huh? Looked, he looked at Maggie. What? We, what was it that you wanted? Mm, you mentioned pasta. I have been craving chicken alfredo. And is there anything you want with that? Um... I mean, I think the chicken alfredo is fine by itself. I mean, there's already All broccoli right. on it, there's already do chicken. You, do you... Do you want the... you want the foreign chicken alfredo, or would you like the special desert country chicken alfredo? What is the desert country chicken alfredo? It's easy. It's a secret, re secret recipe that is only eaten by desert people, and you can only find it in our country. It's like a cactus or some shit. They just put like a <laughs> cactus <laughs> right in the middle of the tip. Ah, yes. Nepal Alfredo. Um, yeah, let's get it. I assume the gentleman will be having the same. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll be back with your food soon. He once again returns for a couple minutes, this time a little bit longer. Um, he actually ends up going back uh, out of the... from away from behind the counter. And he seems gone for a little bit. Is there anything you guys would like to talk talk about, or would you like to just skip? Well, right return? now we're just, like, talking about, like, dinosaurs and boba tea. Ah, yes, what a... Like, it's so unfair when you're just 
When you just get older, no one asks you about your favorite dinosaur anymore. It's like I they know. don't even care. Exactly. Like, it's the same thing with crabs. Exactly. Like, sometimes I just want to talk about crabs. Sometimes I just want to talk about dinosaurs. Exactly. So it's on, just, it's just right this for a while. <clears throat> well, considering <laughs> it's right, the game's gone. Look under the table. Let's go, oh, let's go, let's go. Oh go, my go, god, go. it's a gun, it's a gun. Okay, okay. I'm evading I'm evading the toilets. Alright, breach the toilet. I'm just <laughs> you breach the toilets. Actually, I'm just I'm just I'm just taking a piss. Charge shot. Stand by for entry. Someone raid the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the kitchen with the else in the kitchen? Just a lot of purple, green. That's food. That's just not edible in any way. I'm just saying. It's, is that a it, it is that a plate though? Under? I don't know if they are actually plates or one of those like fancy cover thingies. Damn, I am just stupid because I thought those were donuts. <laughs> yeah, I thought those were donuts too at the start. But if you like oh. zoom in really closely, it's like the you can see there's no hole in it and it actually goes up like, you know, like a plate. Yeah, they look like upside down bowls. What? I was going to say like they also they, they could go either way, like upside down or like. Oh, you guys do know like, that I don't in. take my ear pods out when I go to the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> oh, I heard you. What? You want to know what that is? I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about this. Or hold on, you can't see one. Maybe. I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, that. Maybe. These yeah, are yeah, drinks. That, that we're talking Those about are that. drinks. They're like shelves with. Oh, you know look. how cafes have like shelves with drinks on them? Those they, are multicolored they drinks. They're different alcoholic beverages. Oh, alcoholic those are beverages. The bottles on the wall. <laughs> and see. if you're talking about. Um, well, I'm, I'm out here pissing. And what did you think was the kitchen? <laughs> Like behind the wall? I didn't look at the kitchen. I'm just still on the uh what Because the call? kitchen There's... is not on this floor. It's upstairs. Oh, I... alright. We thought that yeah, was the kitchen, like the alcoholic the beverage. Where the hell did Axel go? Oh he went to the I'm, bathroom. I'm yeah. Alright. Um okay, hold on my Man, do I love dinosaurs. Things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so serious and we're we're just giving the epithet erased vibes. <laughs> Like, we just saw, like, men just completely, like, forget everything about themselves, and we're just like, man, do I love dinosaurs. Anywho, uh, Christ. yeah, he eventually does return. Is there anything else you would like to say before he does? No? <laughs> Maggie and Axel are probably saying a lot of things right now. Yeah. We're I just figured. like, we're just like... Fucking Eminem right now, just going to wonder what's per minute. And it's all about he dinosaurs. He returns play, play the food. He gives Axel his uh, his food, and then the pasta is given to um, Maggie and her father. He then moves on to Jer uh, Jeremiah, and he hands him a plate of uh, chicken meat pie. Mm. Thank you. Please enjoy your food, sir. I'm so hungry right now. I think I'm gonna go make myself some instant ramen after this. Yeah. It made me hungry. Um, now I do. What was it again that Axel ordered? A buttered croissant. Oh yes, you have a buttered croissant. Very normal. Yeah. Nothing special about it. You enjoy it. It's not a lot. Yeah, I'm just like sh you stuffing have my face. Exactly what you have requested for. However, the cheese does have a bit of a strange taste compared to what you've eaten back home. Probably because, I mean, how do you think these people are getting cheese? They're they're in the desert. Hold they're on, how houses. are they getting cheese? <laughs> That's a mystery for another time, but I think the oh, most no. lovely- It's moment. human cheese! <laughs> no. Oh no! <laughs> no, I think the most- And like, okay, particular, same question, are they getting uh, tapioca? I, I think the most particular meal for uh, here is Maggie's, as it tastes completely normal, except for the fact that there's sand in it. There's sand in their food. Or do they have is... butter for the croissant? This is really good. <laughs> and she just keeps eating. 
I would like to quote. Uh, I, I would like to quote Indus when he mentioned that Mera and him ate sand in his country. Oh boy, oh boy, do I love sand. Nom nom nom. <laughs> I mean, uh, Axel I'm and just Jeremiah like... are having pretty normal meals. Uh, I'm the just like stuffing my face with croissant. Begin eating, uh, the door is like kicked open and there's like three soldiers that enter the like, like the same kind of soldiers from earlier like from yeah they just enter they kick open open the door and enter as everyone that was like chattering just kind of quiets down and looks towards them and one of them who appears to be the leader a little bit once again dark like, like tan skin they appear to have their um they have they have longer hair they're a man uh and they're Seven just like for 4 a.m well all right everyone i heard s some people escaped to here now all of you who were on at the town square you better come with us or else you're gonna see some ugly things as he kind of cocks his uh assault shooter which is the variant of an assault rifle in this universe the exact moment that they, like, it looks like point their gun. weapons out at innocent people, there's just, like, a slight pause. As everyone, except you, just kind of looks deadpan in the face towards them. And you see the barkeep pull from under his desk what looks to be a shotgun. The two who are sitting by the counter pull out revolvers which they point towards them the 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 four who are the four who are sitting over here they all pull out bladed weapons oh, the fuck. Ones the, it's just the, going the, down the ones in the corner one of them pulls out a one of them pulls out a pan, pan the other one a spatula and lastly the man who is sitting by the door flicks a coin in the direction of the um of them, and the moment that the coin even moves an inch away from his thumb, it shoots at the speed of a bullet past the cheek of one of them, and you just see them, like the instant that happens, they all just kind of shiver and run outside. They're done here. <laughs> They're gone. Whoa, Any more questions? Shit. Uh. uh <clears throat> I just keep enjoying my croissant, but I'm like, like, I'm just like shoving food in my mouth, and then I'm like covering my mouth because you know Axel still has some manners, and he's just like ta still talking while he's eating. I just re resume conversation as normal. You yeah. see the man go to pick up his coin before returning to his table. Time to pull. Everyone, ballsy, everyone puts their weapon away, by the way. At this point, I'd say, like, me and jo uh, me and Maggie, you know, Axel and Maggie, know more about the each other. So, like, they, they know, like, the small fun facts and just a general knowledge about the other person, considering we've been talking for a while, and it hasn't only yes. been about dinosaurs. Are you sure it hasn't yeah, only been about not. dinosaurs? It's, like, 99% dinosaur, and then there's, like, oh, yeah, I'm from Australia somewhere in there. That's so cute, actually. The little homies. That's really cute. Yeah. You just like. But, uh, but I way. tell you, I'm ethically seaside, and then we just we just like geek out together. I mean, ethically. Ethically, ethically eth is, is is seaside. Uh, while ethically, I'm pretty. Wait, isn't she seaside at her mother's side or? Nah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm having them both seaside. Oh, okay. I'm no, having them both seaside. She, she's just like, okay. Um, Jeremiah, I haven't heard much of you. What was your reaction to the whole ordeal from just now? I continue to eat my meat pie. I don't care much for violence I'm not a part of. The barkeep sort of like walks to the middle of the 
at, like, like the cafe. And he like looks to work around and he just kind of he eyes your group as well as the group uh, at the other side and he's just like not to alarm any of you but I do want to know which one of you were those soldiers looking for I would like to know in, in case they want to come back uh, Maggie oh. just raises her hand. Oh, I think they were kind of looking for s us. Because we were there, but one of the soldiers there said that we could leave and that we had to leave because I had to get the town square back in order and stuff. I asked them where to go, and they said to go here. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just go here then. And I'm just nodding along. Mm-hmm. Ah, I see. Well, that's confusing. I thought they were... It does not matter. Um, it seems like they might be looking for you still. I don't think they'll be coming back here. Tell me, would you like to stay the night? I don't want. I don't want any of my customers getting hurt. Oh, that would be so great, actually. I appreciate it. All right. Well, just feel free to drink anything you want, as long as you pay. For as long as you want. You can stay here until closing hours, and then we can go up my a actual home, you could say. He says as he chuckles. And then he returns to the counter. So, you go through the night. Uh, in the time that you all are here, pretty much everyone there's people who come and go. However, pretty much everyone eventually leaves. Except for the last person sitting was also one of the first people you saw. As the man who was sitting by the door is still sitting there. It, let's just say that it's getting pretty late. It's about... 10 in the evening? Closing hours are at 11. By the way, did any of you drink anything alcoholic in the meantime? Uh, uh unless no. they're like... <laughs> I, I nah. drink, uh, cherry yeah, you're not juice. Yeah, to drink anything, so, yeah. Unless I, like, spiked it or some shit, and now I'm just high as fuck. I don't think anything happened. Alright. Well, nice. then, no one is drunk. That's a good thing. Is there anything you would like to do? It's about 10. Is it about 10? <laughs> Let's assume that uh, at 11 you'd go up. Um, Maggie's this is gonna fun. walk up to Jeremiah and go, So are you also gonna stay the night? Hmm. Maybe. I don't think I exactly have a place around here anyways. Oh, hey, you hi, were Catman. one of the people there. Oh, you know this guy? Yeah, he has a cool hat. Yeah, he does have a cool hat. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, anyways, why do you ask? Well, because, like, you were one of the guys that we saw at the place. So I'm assuming that those coppers are looking for you, too. Okay. I mean, probably, but not like I couldn't handle myself. Let me just say. I had already said I'll probably stay in this place anyways. There's not too many good places. Uh, plus, the guy did say to go back at one, and, well, it is quite a bit off of one, so. True. Alright then, bye! And she just walks All right, away. Alright then. And I just walk, like, right. following them. That's so cute! <laughs> a little duckling. In the meantime... Oh, it's a little train! <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, you walk past uh, the table of the fellow who just attacked, who, who kind of scared away the uh, soldiers. And... The barkeep 
is currently sitting at the table with him. You can't quite hear what they're talking about. However, they are talking to each other. You go up to them. Why not? Hell yeah. The moment Play. they see you, even within 15 feet, they quiet down. Barkeep kind of um, quiets down and he looks at, at the table. He doesn't actually look at you. However, the man at the other side... Who are you, kids? He's wearing a, a gray scarf. He has gray hair and appears to have... You, you can barely see that he has a beard, which is also gray. He has tanned skin... And he's wearing, like, this purple outfit, which looks kind of expensive. He has a pouch on his belt. Like, an over, a, a very big pouch. And he also appears to be eyeing all three of you at the same time, somehow. Oh. Sorry. Hold on, my ear. They're back connected. Okay. Alright, what's going on now? Sorry, my earbuds disconnected. So, the man in front, not the uh, barkeep, but the man in front of him is currently eyeing you while the barkeep is kind of looking at the table. He's, it doesn't look like the barkeep is going to say much. Mm. I, uh... Hold on, my... Hold on, my earbuds disconnected again. I'm gonna go. Hi, so I saw that trick that you did. How did you do that? Also, I kind of like to say that you are very well dressed. That whole color scheme that you've got going on fits you very well. He just kind of looks you in the eye. She stares back. I think I'll meddle with my own business. You. I don't think it concerns you how I did what I did. I think it's important to know that I did what I did. And that's what, that's what saved your sorry asses. Seeing as they were looking for you and all. Oh, okay, I see. Well, I guess, thank you for that. That was still really cool, though. I really want to know how that happened. But I'll respect it. And she just kind of walks off. Girl boss. On the way there, while I'm following this girl boss, uh, the internet's a thing in this universe, right? Yes. I I I'm just like, uh, it's about okay. I'm like Maggie. What does slay mean? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you see Maggie just light up and she brings out the huge binder again. Um, and she flips to uh, this section in her binder, which is pretty much like a, th a thesaurus dictionary section. And she uh, goes to the modern dictionary section of it. Uh, you see her kind of like pointing at words, um, uh, filing down, and goes, "There it is." Okay, so basically, slay uh, by definition means to like the light or to overwhelm, especially with like very positive feelings. Um, that's just uh, that's an older uh meaning though. Hold on, I don't think I actually have it written down. I like I know the older meaning, so I'm just like to kill a person or animal in a violent way. Because I'm, I'm I'm a smart little fucker, and I'm just like I'm just like looking there all proud. But like basically, slay is used in the context of like cheering someone on, um, congratulating someone, Or something really good that happened. Or someone really, uh, something really good that someone did. 
Oh, I need all to right. write that down. That makes sense. And then I just like give give her a little thumbs up. I continue walking back to her table. But that wait for her, of course. Slay. Slay. <laughs> You've created a a, a child boss. <laughs> oh no. This is on you. No, it's not. Maybe it is a little bit. Like this. Yeah, this, this is like lavender town music. <laughs> this is the wrong music. I can't. Oh, find okay. Wow, good job. I can't. <laughs> good find job. My music. Best DM ever. <laughs> hey, Josh. <laughs> Got a little shit. I love shitting on jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. it looks like we're gonna have to die in this dime. <laughs> <laughs> what dying here whips out his epithet omni science kills everyone well there is a reason it's called a diner my epithet is god uh, <laughs> well my right. epithet is non-believer oh my no. god Aven okay, okay. eventually ah. eventually time does move and you see more. Uh, Time doesn't exist. You the, excuse you. You see the bar, <laughs> bar keep kind of change his uh, cafe from open to closed. And he walks up to your table. All right, fellas. Seems that uh, time has come. I am going to bed. Are you coming with me? I mean, nowhere oh, else no. to go. So like. Hell yeah. All right, just follow me into the hall. Boy, let's go, boys. <laughs> the gang. Oh shit! Oopsies. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me come too. No, we need to make her bigger. I love how we're just creeping along <laughs> the floor. We're trying to be respectful. Yeah, Indeed. exactly. Can't break the immersion. Indeed. Thank you. I, I'm very exactly. happy about that. That's what's called role playing. We can't just teleport. That's not my exactly. episode. Oh, I can teleport. <laughs> epithet. I'm teleport. giving you guys. I'm giving you hints about my epithet and <laughs> cannot teleport. <laughs> Actually, we can only move six squares in a ra in a turn. I'm, I can only as move you, six squares in a turn. I'm pretty sure. As you enter the hall, it stops for a second. Ah, I believe I I've forgotten to tell. Aim. That seems pretty important, is it not? He chuckles. Is it the bishop? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bishop. <laughs> we just the BBG. This is the BBG. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My name is Marvin. People usually call me bartender Marvin, though my full name is Marvin Di Napoli. <laughs> please make it. Please make yourself at home. Try not to get Back. lost. Wait, what do you mean lost? I have a big house. To say it like that. I have a big house too. I get lost all the time, though. <laughs> My house ain't the thing that's big. <laughs> hey yo. Hey. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we going? That's not what my character actually says, We're by the way. This is not canon. Ew. That, that was not canon. <laughs> oh, everything's loading on my end. Oh, no. I don't like this. Night map. No, no, don't worry. Everything's Night loading map. on my end, too. I can't see shit. No, no, you're... Oh, jeez. I, I did the wrong. I did the wrong. You did Good the job, wrong. jokes. <laughs> you did the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you Wait, did no, the dirty. The, no, that was the right. <laughs> that was the right. Man. That was the right. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> Extra good job, jokes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hey, can you guys when see... More am I now? Can you guys see character? Marvin? Yeah, I can yeah. see Marvin. I can't... Oh, yeah, I can see Marvin. The Overwatch character. 
I didn't even know there was an Overwatch character named Marvin. Why? You just ruined it's like a robot. Can, can you guys put oh, your own? Okay, I'm gonna put put the characters in there. Hold. How do I even character there? Like they're on the right, aren't they? Or are you unable to spawn them in? I don't know. I'm unable to spawn I'm them unable in. Unable to spawn them because I have to drag in the image myself if I want to be able to do that. So hold on. I'm going to put like a smiley face showing Axel's current mood all the time, like right next to, right next to the name, so you guys can tell. You know, just Axel for the extra version. Point. Wow, he's hyper no, right now. Smiley face, it's smiley face. Anyways, um, you all kind of... Jokes left the party. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, <laughs> goodbye guys, fuck all of you. <laughs> no. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, we gotta wait for Maggie <laughs> again. Why? Oh, what happened? They said B BRB. Oh, crap. No! Maggie! I'm out. I'm out. You're dead. Bye, guys. You died. And in death. <laughs> Cannon death. Fell, fell, fell up the stairs. <laughs> fell off the stairs, breaks no, his skull. Fell no, no, no. Wait, I just I just removed myself. I just accidentally like, trash can myself. How do I spawn myself back in? I'll do it for you. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay, I good. need to make you small. Yeah. Wait, I can do that though, right? Yeah. How 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 many feet should I be? Four, I guess. Just be a bit smaller. Yeah. Don't make yourself too small. Otherwise, I won't make Marvin big. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he thick. Extra thick. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. My episode is gigantism. No, he's a Monday. Uh, I will make you a Monday. Don't make me turn you into a Monday. Hold on, let me make myself less than 700 feet. What the fuck? Where am I? I just, I just see your name. I just see your name too. I mean, my name. Crap. What did you do? I didn't do anything. What? Control, control C. Control C. There we go. Whew. Uh, how do I? Yeah, I'm just gonna trash can myself there. Can you like spawn me back in? No, because I, I lost the map. You lost the map? I lost the map. How do you map? lose the map? <laughs> you lost. I scrolled away from the map. <laughs> Oh it my god, you. dude, how do I like... Oh, uh, I can't control... If... Restart your browser. Refresh it. Oh yeah, good idea. Okay, I did it. Okay, is everyone here? Is everyone present? I don't think... Maggie is yet. Maggie's out there slaying. Now that I, Axel. Oh, he even named me. This is canonically Axel's size. Well, yes, even though he's not. <laughs> One foot. Oh, you're not an ant. Okay, let me. God damn it. What? Why are you on your head? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, let me, let me zero the grease. I did, it, there I, did we go. It, I did it, I did it. Don't touch okay. it. Okay. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Just just leave him as he is. Perfect. Today is the canon day that stores sword art. Okay. That's cool and all, but no. What? <laughs> I said that's cool and all, but no. Stop. Where's the where's the game I can be trapped in? It's called Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly nice. is just like my life. You start with a lot, but then you lose everything. Fair. Why is Maggie upside down? Hold on. <laughs> because I wanted it. Who changed it? Is she back? 
You spin me right round, baby, right round. And while you're, while you're slaying him, so I'm, I'm a, I'm a boy boss. Marvin is in, like, pushing against you, trying to shove you down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I am back. Um, okay, yeah, has a Axel lot of crazy been shit. abducted? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, I ching. I turned two hundred foot. Down? I turned two hundred <laughs> foot large, <laughs> and uh, I kind of erased the map for a second. It was pretty good. fuck. <laughs> Why am oh I sideways? <laughs> Why are you sideways? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You're not. I'm trying to make anymore. myself four feet. There we go. Okay, now I'm upside down. Just stop, just stop touching my character. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Do it. It's okay. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Good. We're back, guys. I'm Can normal we... axle size now. All right. Uh, you, do you all follow Marvin? <coughs> yes. I'm following Maggie. <laughs> right, I don't care about Marvel no Marvin. Marvel just informs you all. All right. I have paid a lot of money for this house, so... I have three bedrooms, so if two, if you split into groups of two, we can have you all sleep in rooms together. Tell me, who is sleeping with whom? Or would one person prefer to sleep on the couch? Uh... I love couches, I want to sleep on the couch. Oh, that's so cute. Don't tell me Maggie was gonna offer to sleep with Axel, that would be weird. That, you know, that I'm phrasing, a phrasing, buddy. <laughs> I'm a 13 year old <laughs> child, okay? Phrasing, bud. <laughs> it would be like an older sister sleeping next to their little brother, okay? Yes, that would be exactly sister. big, but exactly, good that's God. exactly older how it would be. Sister. Don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's not what I was going to say. Older sister who you met one day, less than a day ago. Okay, but our bond, okay, we bonded so much in that day. James He's bond? my brother now. Exactly. Like, I'll legally defense. adopt him in-game. So, like, exactly. Hell yeah. So anyways, but is Axel sleeping on the couch? To be fair, my parents just left me, let me go like to another country with that and, and just say like goodbye honey pack some underwear so like they're my on brother the now, side that's of it. the world not to mention yeah they're in australia right now and i they're just like under, got here. the desert is up Good. okay you're my brother now that's it. anyways Yay. is that still sleeping on the couch or what well if now that i'm sleep her on the couch he can sleep on the couch you I want to sleep, sleep on the couch. Yes, I okay. want to sleep on the couch. Well, who, well, then there's still three of you. Um, each room has a double bed, so... Who is going to sleep alone, and who is going to sleep with someone else? I think those uh, two are paired, so I'll sleep alone. I'll yeah, let. my dad will be with me. I'll take, I'll take the kid to the living room so he can sleep on the couch. Come with me. <clears throat> He's talking about Axel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I heard. <laughs> I forgot about the realistic setting of this game. <laughs> Having to follow <laughs> your elders. <laughs> Having to follow my elders. Oh? This is the kitchen. If you ever need to prepare yourself some food. Midnight uh, snacks. You need to inform me first. Oh, uh, okay. I can't wait for the. This is just, this is character development right here. I've just legally been adopted as someone's brother. Yes. I still completely forgot his parents. His parents were like half worried sick. They're like, oh no, where's Axel? Oh well, time to watch who wants to be a millionaire in Jeopardy. <laughs> here you can find the couch. Go ahead and lay on which one you find the com most comfortable. I just check all the couches. Two city. Too hard. 
Perfect. Do not stay up too late watching TV. If you need All right. a night, I say as a a... If you need a night light, we have a lantern. I will now bring the others to their bedchambers. Have a All good right. night. Bye, what Marvin. Your name? Uh, Axel. All right. Good night, Axel. Marvin. Marvin fuck, uh, it's... quickly makes his way back. Quickly <laughs> runs the fuck out of there. <laughs> no, it's getting late. Okay, he needs to get people to the beds. I just like. I hope I'm still. Yeah, I'm still here. Can I? Yeah, I can copy paste an emoji. <laughs> no, mama. All right. Uh, Axel's like, I'm gonna stay up all night, and then stays up for like another hour watching TV, and then just passes out. All right. Um, oh right, I should probably mention, we're gonna assume that he also mentioned it to Axel. The bathroom is right over here. I'm all good right now. Alright. Who wants to sleep by the windows, and who wants to sleep in the middle? I'll let you two Linda. have the choice. It's two versus one. Ooh. Windows. I'm having way too much fun with Owlbear Rodeo. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so Maggie and her dad are going by the windows? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Then... Fuck Dice Parser. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, oh, the good life. Just follow him. Oh, okay. Uh, damn it. Why will the select tool work anymore? Stink. I could have selected both of them. Oh, you renamed him Cool Dad! That's so cute! Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank you. He is a cool dad. You're very welcome. It's all about he's, the, he's very the immersive world. He just agrees to anything his daughter asks for. <laughs> It's like All a right. yes man, a this cooler. Is, uh, this is the bedchamber for uh, father and daughter. Go Wait. ahead. Oh, enter. oopsie! Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, no. How do I take this out? How do I take it out? <laughs> Come and I'll try to move. <laughs> you guys are fighting the today. No. Uh, I can delete them. <laughs> Thank you. I owe you my life. It was a, it was a mimic bed. <laughs> Oh, it was a mimic bad. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's the epi- it's the mimic episode. <laughs> there should be a Dungeons and Dragons episode. That's a- that's three words. There's a- and there's no, a dungeon it's two episode, words and an though. at sign. What would the dungeon episode do? You're Anyways, wrong. uh, this is- Sex Dungeons. This is Jeremiah's room. It's pretty similar. The bed's a different color. Yeah, it's a different color, and <laughs> the pillows are slightly different. I feel like Maggie would go admire herself in the mirror. The mirror being Maybe. right there. It'd be funny. Then or the, or the cool dad. is going to go ahead and sleep in his own room. Now, is there anything you guys want to do uh, before bed activities, before you go to sleep? I'm just gonna quickly um... go to the bathroom. Again. He's got that weak child bladder. Oh, he's just a little guy. He's just like <laughs> sprinting to the bathroom. <laughs> ah, I made it. Man. Thank God. Sleeping. Wait, he flushes? <laughs> oh, yeah. I go, I go you can hear the flush sounds through the one. room. <laughs> and I just like oh, there, run there's, back. There's some very strong isolation in the uh, walls. Good. Wait, yeah, shit, I forgot I to gonna... wash my hands. You fool! Uh, all right. Besides the ba the bathroom activities, uh, <laughs> Jeremiah goes straight to sleep. Uh, what does Maggie do? Uh, Maggie's just looking at the mirror. She's just telling it's herself a, mirror facts. It's a facts. very clean. It's a very clean mirror, by the way. That's good. She appreciates that. What color is the mirror? Uh, cool Dad goes ahead and goes to, goes to sleep. That should be his name. Just Cool Dad. <laughs> Yeah, Maggie's just telling herself mere facts, looking in her book. Alright. 
Well, um, so Extra you guys, time, go, time do you guys go, go out at one, or are you just gonna sleep in? Completely uh, forget about the, uh, you know. Uh, I'm gonna hope Maggie wakes me up, because I'm just, like, sleeping. I'm like, oh, I'm having my yeah. beauty rest right now. Maggie would have like, woken up, or probably stayed up, actually. So it's like 12, uh, it's like 12.50 right now or something, no, I'm still, still just okay, like sleeping. Okay, so, so you guys are going to wake each other up at 12.50? Maggie is. Alright. So well, everyone is awake now. Except, of course, Morin. Excellent. I'm Arvin. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still not awake. Oh, no, one, no one came to wake uh, me up. There's a, there's I'm, one, I'm going! There's one little problem, though. Yes. Let's assume that you all went downstairs and prepared to leave, right? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, I guess I'll just like TP the, all the way. Oh, the no. doors are locked. No, I gotta walk. So are you gonna wake up Marvin at 1 a.m. or 12:55? Can we just smash a window? No. Are you gonna smash we have to a be window? Respectful. Okay. <laughs> wake up Marvin. Oh, Go to Maggie. All right. Let's so just you all... see if she woke me up does and any, I fall for Does someone weird. knock on his door or just like barge into his room? What do you do? A bing Hi. bong, wake up! I knock on the door. <laughs> just in case he's having a bit of a bit of a lucky time with a woman, I, I knock too. Uh, so he knows no. what's going on. That was the wrong. He, he <laughs> that was the wrong door. Up. <laughs> he comes to his door, and he opens it. What's the problem, my friend? Real sorry to bother you, but could you unlock the front door so we can get out? What time is it? Is it already morning? About 12.55. 12.55? Excuse me, why are you going out so early? I mean, that's just the time we were asked to meet back up with the brutes, so... I mean, I guess. It is a bit early, but that's just what the guy said. Very well. I will go ahead and un... Thank you. Alright, so... He goes downstairs, and he unlocks the door for you, so you all get to leave. And I assume yeah. you return to the town square. Yup. Yeah, yes. Gonna... Now, I, I have a question. Have mm -hmm. you all been keeping track of your currency? Yeah. I, I uh, remember yes. that I gave you it. So. Wait, but you said you said you were giving us fixed amounts, so how much did you give me? I gave you, like... Two. Uh, I, got, I have 200. I have 200. 200, oh, then. Yeah, you gave me 200 DP because I'm like a child or some shit. And then you told me <laughs> there's canonically dinosaurs in Australia, and I just went fucking batshit. I went uh, ape shit. Let's not forget that um, the second poorest, you're the poorest player, and the, you want to know what the second poorest is? Ooh. It's obviously not it's... Maggie, it's probably Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, it's Jeremiah. And go ahead and tell is him Maggie's how much dad money loaded? You Maggie's dad, yes. He has equal amount of currency to Maggie. Uh, only Maggie has more like... at home, and he doesn't. Uh, but, yeah, go ahead and tell them how much money you have, Jeremiah. You mean, like, on me or in total? On on you. On me, I'm just carrying 1,000. Like, 1,000 DP. Yeah, 1,000 pounds. Uh, how is that little? I'm out here with 200. I'm a little child-ass motherfucker. 1,000 uh, pounds have a worth of about, if we are to compare it to real-life currency... 0.2 two dollars. To, uh, one desert pound is 0 0.2 dollars. Yes. So you have the equivalent of 40 bucks. And let's not forget about Maggie. Hi. Me. How much money did you have again? Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot to ask that we lo Did we, like, actually pay for our food? Yeah, that's what I was referring to. Uh, I was uh, gonna say. Uh, Anyone? Uh, okay, so. Everyone, we're gonna assume. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. You explained it different to me in like the DM. So I wanted to carry around the equivalent of around two hundred dollars. 
Yes. Uh, I... And you have a thousand desert bucks. And a thousand divided by five is 200. Correct? Wait. Yes, but. Wait. Second. If it's zero. Okay. zero point One zero... desert pound oh. is 0 0.2 dollars. Wait. Oh, sorry. I thought you said 0 yeah. 0 0.02. Yeah, no, then it would have been like the equivalent of yen in Japan. No. It's more the equivalent of, um, uh, it's okay. the equivalent of Egyptian pounds. No, That's I'm what just I making use for sure. reference. I'm just making sure that I have the right amount on me. Yeah, you do. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, so let's move on. Um, I do want, did a Axel pay for his own drinks or did Maggie pay for him? I wouldn't mind paying. All right. That then you... like... Yeah, yeah, she pays for me. How many drinks did you have? Me? Yeah. Uh, like three total. All right. Then let's just say that you paid. What I have forty bucks. That's pretty good. I can still buy yeah, a lot with let, that. Let's just say that you paid about one ninety bucks. Ninety. Nine ninety. 190. Like 90. 190. 190? Okay. What the fuck? That's expensive. Divide that by five. Change, my guy. And that's for three people. Pocket change, my oh, dude. Yeah. 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 Wait, how that's much does Maggie have? None of your business. Exactly. Fair. Uh, Jeremiah, you had one coffee or did you have more? She's just loaded with a million. One She's coffee. a millionaire. <laughs> then that was about. Calculating, uh, that's about nine, just nine. All right, it's pretty cheap over here. Yeah. All right, go. Okay. Um, so you all Real end quick. up at the town square, which looks a lot different at night. They have set up the benches once more. They have set up the lamps, which were obscured by the fences. And there's lighting on the palm trees. And there's a big, ominous green ring in the middle of the town square. And as you all gather here, at about 1.05, not only more, not, not only the bishop, but also the expert from before, and a buff man with a with a um a spades mask that has tan skin and hair in a ponytail is also standing on the stage. They appear to be in discussion with one another. You're not the first people here, as there are a good couple people who are just kinda sitting around, seemingly waiting for them to finish. Those two guys look a bit too close. I wonder what they're doing on that bench. Hey, yo. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Incredible crab facts. <laughs> Incredible crab facts, indeed. Yes. Uh, I need Incred to import my tokens so I can... Crabs can, can you do generate it on your own body or do parts. I need to put it in for you. Uh, I, got, uh, I got mine. I just poured it. Oh, All right. everyone can put it in. I don't have mine, and I didn't know we were supposed to save them. Do you have full I screen do. on, Darky? I do not. Now I do. Turn it off. Oh. You need to see it. on the right side of your screen. There should be tokens, and you can scroll. Oh uh, no, I can see those. Yeah, I just don't have mine. <laughs> Scroll down. Yeah, I have undead, and I have all the like the normal ones. You probably have to import yours. Now. Oh yeah, right. I forgot that I. uh... Because <laughs> I did that to mine. I just did. Yeah, I, let me I'll put delete in all again. the like. Well, actually, let me just delete every token that I'm oh, not using. I just using. put yours in again. Um. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Uh. So yeah, you're now waiting. And that's where we're gonna leave today's session. Oh, sweet. Damn, waiting IRL. Slay. Yeah. 
I hope you guys. Immersion. It's so real. <laughs> it's on I God. This session is so realistic. Good job, jokes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's session. It was I know pretty that fun. I did. Besides the waiting at the start. Chachi, make sure you uh, wake up next time. Right, it was daylight savings. Um, but anyways. Fair enough. I'm gonna look for a fourth player things. next time. For the viewers who are gonna see this vod, um, <laughs> next time we're gonna be on the channel Jokes, the Game Master. Make sure you go subscribe to me there. Uh, you can find the link in the description of this stream. I'm going are you to... friends with a guy named the Gaming Joker and just Call of Duty Mobile shit? No. Joke credits. Uh, no. Wait, <laughs> am I? Yeah. You do, like, if you go oh, on your yeah. channel, you go to the channel section, there's a friendos and it's <laughs> yeah. a Gaming Joker. Yeah. Uh, it's a, um, a friend of mine on Discord who wanted me to do an ad for their channel. I even edited a, uh, I edited, like, a thing for him. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave today's session over here. Tell me. Is there anything you want to tell me before I uh, go eat dinner? Because I have to go to sleep in 30 minutes. No. Uh, no? Question mark? Alright. Honestly, I'm good. I uh, had fun this session. I'll see you guys next time. And me and Maggie are gonna have such a friendship arc. And Jeremiah, too. We're gonna be hat buddies. And we're gonna be the best hat buddies. Neat. We're still Jeremiah gonna be looking does not for that third player. I mean, fourth player. Uh, if you guys have if any... If only I... Uh, before you ask jokes, no. I do not have friends. Yeah, I, I figured. I was talking... I, I was mostly talking to Dio and Jaji. Wow. Um, I don't know if Jaji has any friends, considering that, uh... What's that supposed to be? <laughs> damn! <laughs> God damn. damn! Wow! Jokes, damn. what's up with you today? You haven't ended <laughs> You did not have to do Maggie like that. I'm gonna I'm be real. You haven't ended the stream. I'm not even- I didn't even end the stream yet. <laughs> yeah. This was all caught on 4K! Yeah, I actually- I this, this is going actually, viral. 1080p, 1080p, there's no You're getting there. canceled? You're getting canceled on Elon Musk's new, new Twitter, where you have to pay $8 for a verification check. Where you can pay $8 for a verification check. Which, like, really anyway. doesn't make the ver verification check anymore, right? It's just, like, the premium check. Oh, I've got no idea what the hell's happening to Twitter. I don't even use it. There. Anyway. Anyways, guys. I've got a few people. I hope you are ready for the next session. Next I am session born ready. It's going to be the last session before Jaji gets married. So that's crazy after to me. That, there's going to be two weeks between it. So make sure you are there next time. Jaji, I would also I'll like be to be sure to prepare the session. Actually, I'd like to. And I'll see you guys next time. HA session. And I'm very sorry I have grown up now, and I'm still a dumbass, but at least I'm- Now I just, you know, cringe at my past self, like everyone does. At least I'm a grown up dumbass. At least I'm a grown up dumbass, exactly. You know, just one year older. Nothing changed. Damn. Alright. Not a relatable book. Did you- Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.